Okay, so we're following the high end 1300 who's now 1406 based on that last win against the 1500. So we'll see how far he goes in this because he's obviously very sharp. He's attacking the bishop here. So, like we know with the 1300s, 1400s, sometimes the back end is a little bit short because they come out with single attacks. I think he's still going for that. And they don't kind of look at the back end because they see all the glory. And like I say, this knight now potentially is kind of trapped. Can't go here, can go there, can go there. So, looking at the back end of what you. Oh, it's, he's going for a bit of compensation. Okay. So you take my knight takes. Well, that's really quite clever. You know, he must have read the Paul Morphy book. But again, he's got a check on his king here. Queen can take. Knight still can't escape, really. So he's going to get two pieces if he's going to be taking the knight with the bishop. Does take. Knight still can't go anywhere. So he's still going to be down. Actually, no, he's equalised, really, hasn't he? He's equalised. Queen takes now. He's not taking. He's... Ooh... 1400's gone a little bit mental now, not mental, but they've kind of lost the thread. They've allowed the knight to come back in the game. He's kept the advantage. Hey, downside. This this player is higher higher end than the 1300s, even the 1400s. I'm I'm pushing this person. They they're proper. <laughs> I mean. Why is he messing around with all those other levels there? He's got question marks on them. Um, not too bothered about the bullet. Yeah, so takes. There, rook takes, queen. I am like. I'm, pu I'm putting this person as a 1600 reality. Yep. Yeah. So 1600 currently plays at. 1550 level which is only 15 points away from the 1600 because their vision is quite good and their combination work is quite good it's just it, have a look at this position here at the minute look at the targeting is really good but the ending position probably just needs a little bit of work which is okay and he's looking for x-ray through but don't want to keep your king home alone I want to see how you work this because you know he's coming here and he's going to take that was a massive oh what <laughs> oh no so this is why he's like 1550 because he has moments of playing like 1300 <laughs> oh dear oh that was a massive miss there oh that's a shame okay so okay well he's um so the end game isn't his forte although he did play quite well with the other ones it's, maybe it's because they gave it to him or her oh that's so funny that was straightforward take <laughs> and okay so let's not do stuff that is not of any importance because he's just going to come here and come here and get a checkmate Ooh, what? Th that was a give up move, wasn't it? <laughs> it was... <laughs> I'm sorry. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh, these games do make me laugh. So even on, you know, when I'm watching like a high end 1300, who's now just got 1400 in front of our eyes, um, they still do make mistakes and, and big mistakes at that they miss opportunities and stuff so again this is why you know when you when you're playing people of this level if they are coming out with these super strategical moves you have to ask the question are they actually playing for real you can spot those types of players a mile off we're evidencing this as we as we're doing the narration what the did you see how many night moves this guy did backwards and forwards round and our man has castled the high end he's castled high end 1300 now he's targeting 
then he captures okay all pretty sweet straightforward okay bring the bishop attacking so there's some sort of issues potentially that need work on but on the whole it's not too bad is it he knows how to target yeah bam and well this pawn's kind of free as well he's dropped that down so then he <coughs> kind of missed an opportunity I think there but maybe he didn't want to take it but I doubt it very much and this could take and that's quite nice now Queen's chomping at the bit to get here but this pawn is there <coughs> okay that's a nice shot might be looking to come here to come here to go there keeping busy over this side while the Queen drops in <coughs> let's see if he's thinking like that uh, oh <laughs> oh I'm good got it got it but like I said he is the high-end version of 1300 and he does make mistakes yeah so if a high-end 1300 can make mistakes you genuinely because he's playing he can be like a 1550 you know if his rating was 1550 now I wouldn't have an issue with it because he's playing currently you know around about that area because that's my expectation of a 1550 you know they're quite good they're quite sharp you know they know about castling keeping it sharp well not all the time I think the 1500s let themselves down so He's closer to 1600 because of his awareness of protecting his king than he is than he is of the 15. But that's why I put him at 1550 because of his awareness. But he does make a few kind of blunderous things here, unprotected pieces, and I think he can still make something of it. He's got that sort of skill ability. Is he looking to challenge the queen? See a piece down. He might challenge. He might go for a simple thing like that. But his bishop's under attack. So does he bring it all the way back? Don't, shouldn't have an issue with that, should he? Or is he looking to keep it in the corner here, just so he's um, hitting something? Oh, is it doing that thing again, where they're not showing the moves? That's really weird. If what if I do a refresh or something? Oh, maybe I should have refreshed last time. Yeah. Okay, so he's um. Ooh. Check. No, there's no checkmate. Bishop's protecting here. So White's in trouble, really. So we've got 40 seconds. If need to move a bit faster, you either go in with the push, or you go in with the check. Oh, checkmate. Oh, maybe the wrong way. Wrong way. Could have gone there. so end game work needs doing so now he's got the checkmate that was a bit fancy and arty he didn't have to do all of that okay yep yeah. so he's he knows how to win he's he's dragging out these wins and based on the opponent's mistakes and that was a 1400 he played there so he's, he's wiping out the 1400s he's wiping out the 1500s he's 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 realistically about a 1550 player this player is I don't think we'll see him get to 15-15 in the tournament, it's only 10 minutes left, but he's there or thereabouts in my head um, on an online 15-50 player. Really quite strongish <laughs> for... Okay, let's see what we've got. So he's pushed through, he's defending the pawn, he's, uh, he's not developing his knight just yet, he's still in the war, needs to get these pieces out, and maybe not that far, uh, knight comes up. And he's trying to keep him busy isn't he? so that he don't castle, gets the bishop out. Does he attack or does he just come safe? Oh, not the Fianchetto, Malarkey. Dude. Castles, castles. What's the waste of a piece? Just sat there doing nothing. Oh, upsetting me now. Um, bishop, he's probably going to Fianchetto on this side. <laughs> he's attacking a piece. Okay, fair enough. What's it doing with the bishop though now? 
Rook's coming here to attack this pawn. Yeah, so that was quite straightforward. Oh, I'm trying to move the piece, aren't I? It's going up somewhere with the queen, right? Fair enough. He's looking to do a small little touch on here, isn't he, with the pawn? Now it's got a lovely spot here. It's going to sit there forever and a day, attacking the bishop. Bishop can't go on, don't do that because the pawn's coming down here. So you kind of lost your bishop. Dude, that was too eager. You've lost your bishop. You're going to have to come here and or try and attack, but it's just going to hit the bishop. So it takes, takes anyway. And then takes here. But no, it doesn't take there, sorry. Attacks here, doesn't attack there, attacks the bishop. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up to the game. Queen takes. Then he takes the bishop if he's still there. Rook takes, knight takes the bishop. Take the bishop, please, don't just leave it there. Come on, come on, come on. You know that's what. Oh. It's attacking his knight. Uh, bishop takes, bishop's on the knight. Not take too long. It's always weird when I see a different move order. So he's now on the bishop. See, this is is kind of giving him tempo back because now he's have to move. Bishop moves. Take the bishop. Just don't mess about. Take the bishop. Oh, is he going to pay the price for not actually taking this bishop? I think he is. Queen's protecting here. Dancing queen. We don't want to dance. Where's this going? Where's the queen going? Now he's got the pawn here. X ray through to the queen. Bishop takes, queen takes. Yep, yeah, okay. It's all a bit take festish, isn't it? Now the bishop's gone. It's, it's, uh, it's no good to me. Rooks come. Does he? No, he can't do that. Well, he could, but mm, no, he can't. Goes there, goes there, goes there, then queen comes now. Now it looks a bit drawn out. Oh dear, look at that fork. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you could have had a rook off the board. Where do you think you're going with this queen? Come on, Mr. High End. Oh, my word. Oh, he must have seen it now. I bet he's kicking himself. But now White is just going to go here with his rook and block that off. Oh man, that's all oh, the bishop even. That's unlucky. That is unlucky. Can't even take there. There's no point doing that. Oh dear me. I think it's kind of gone a bit flat now, hasn't it? Where's he going with the queen? Is he looking to do this? But I mean, it just gets taken. Oh. Man, I think he's only lost one game though, hasn't he? So, well, that we've been watching. So he must have some method in his madness somewhere. So let's see what is. The queen is getting closer anyway. Oh, look at, oh, that's gonna hurt. That was way too slow. You, you can't have been thinking of trying to go for that. Ouch. And yeah, okay. Yeah, so because I'm, you know, I've, I've watched the guy just from the start point here and he's shown all that high end promise and, and then to come back down to what is a 1300 type methodology. Is a little bit ah, disconcerting, you know, for a moment. Therefore, yes, it was proper high end all the way, and that's that's the issue. You will see high end stuff from certain players, but it's not a consistent thing. Like I said before, like the 1100s or whatever, and um, they can be really powerful. But out of 10 games, if they're playing like a 1600 or something, they'll probably win about maybe seven of them. Uh, sorry, they'll they'll lose seven and win about three or draw one or two or whatever 
so it's a massive difference it's that consistency and that's what this player is showing here and that's nice okay got a nice little checkmate there <laughs> right so the consistency is different you know and as they're developing and working if they are looking to improve then they need to work on the elements that make up the 1300 um, uh, high-end area and the high-end 1400 and then high-end 1500 etc and just building on those as they're going through each of the stages just to develop you you can't skip a scam stage you know you have to work through the stages even if you've just started on the site you still have to go through the stages because you know that's the way the rating system goes let's have a look at this um this one here now he's looking to oh yes <laughs> he's, he's going for quick and dirty now he's not messing about he's not messing about okay so straight in attack hash um, does it have any legs yes it does boom my gosh he is wiping them out now it's like he's really mad Ooh, two minutes left of the tournament Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! High, Mr. High End. There, super speed. So he's catching people by surprise by the speed at which he can move. And if you're not used to that sort of movement, it can scare you. You don't find the appropriate positions in these three-minute games. I think that's what he's actually taking advantage of. He's um, speedy. He's accurate. He's putting pressure on, he's putting threats in there and it's making the opponents go, whoa, 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 steady on, let me catch up a little bit. Okay, you know you need to be castling at some point, dude, yeah. Just thought I'd remind you. So he's moved. You can allow that now, just castle. Castle, take then the rooks on this pawn here and it's all over okay fair enough you want to dance a little bit don't want to dance too much though you know because that spoils the beauty of the game it's only got one piece out castle thank you right Could do with blocking this, opening up this bishop, but he's not doing that. Move there a bit quick with the old knight room. One or two spaces, no problems. <laughs> Same stuff. Let's go there, tack the rook, block off the center. Ooh, I'm not sure dude, you're giving up a pawn for. No, that wasn't right. That was a panic move. Did he just get a queen? He took his queen off, didn't he? <laughs> oh, there's method in his madness. Although, really and truly, it wasn't that good because really, if he just pushed here, there's still an imbalance. So he got lucky there. Grabbed, grabbed, grabbed. Yeah. Yeah, he's taking advantage of speed. So I would almost it's kind of cheap, you know. Um, but he's winning with it. So oh dear, that's going in for a check. Yeah, it does reverse all the thinking. Hmm. So bishops could take, but he's not interested. He's going for a check with the rook. Maybe not then. So check with the rook. Queen down or up, whichever. Rook up, maybe. Get a bit of. No, I don't dance too much with the. Oh, I take the rook off. And it's all done. Yes. Might be a little bit sharp, this guy. This is, um. A little bit sharp. <laughs> Oh dear, 
oh, and the arena's finished now.